Greetings my viewers and subscribers, I am coming at you again with another tutorial. After all this time, <laughs> I've been missing in action for just a few weeks, you know, but the work never stops, you know, something is always going on in the background, check my background, you know. Like I said, this channel is going to be a one-stop shop. We cater for reggae, ska, soca, anything that's island music, or probably a few African, you know, Afrobeats, you know, you know, can't stray too far from the root. Alright, so for all those who are just tuning in, be sure to go on down there and hit that red button, that subscribe button right down there, you know. Hit the notification bell and hit all so whenever I post a new video or tutorial, whatever I post, you will be alerted. I want to do a tutorial on Toots and the Metals, Pressure Drop, a, a very big hit from Mr. Toots. This man made his transition um, a few weeks ago. He ain't dead, he's just sleeping. So grab your guitars. Let me show you how to play this one now. Let's go. Toots and the meters, um, pressure drop. All right, so let's. We're gonna start with the cards. Then we're gonna move to the um, the stock lines, and then I'm probably gonna show you after how to strum. This is scare. All right. Or I'll probably I'll do the, the the cards, the um, the strumming pattern, and then the stock line. So remember to watch the video to the very end, guys. Watch the video to the very end. All right, don't just take the cards and run with it. You need to have the feel also. All right, so here we go. So this song is in the key of A flat. All right, we are, we're going to be using a 1, 4, and a 5. All right, remember, to find, um, to understand um, the chord progression, you just want to play the major scale. All right, you know that the 1, the 4, and the 5 are always majors. The minor, minors are always the 6, the 3rd, and... Um, the, the second, all right. Forget about the um, the the seventh, all right. We don't really use that much, all right. But so yes, let's get to the cards, all right. So you wanna come all the way up here to the fourth fret. You wanna bar the whole fourth fret with the pointer finger. Place the middle finger on the third string, fifth fret. Pinky finger on the fourth string, sixth fret. Ring finger on the fifth string, sixth fret. First card. Alright? For me, I play it a bit different. I play my A flat here. It's the same thing. Just higher in register. Okay? So so you hear. So that's one. You want a four. You want to bar the whole fourth fret still you want to place that ring finger on the second third and fourth string of the sixth fret like that and you want to strum from the fifth the fifth string down so that's the one four to get the five you want to push this this position or you hold this this pattern all the way up of um a a hole all right so it's like that see so from here to here so the pointer finger is now barring the sixth fret all right so you got one you got a four and a five all right 
Now, when this song starts, you start. All right, so you're going to be playing two rounds of this. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, 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 one, three, four, one, two, three, four. Then it changes. All right, so this is what we have so far. All right, that's the first part. Then when he goes to the part where he start, it starts humming. Mm -hmm. All right, you know you're gonna jump to a five, so you're gonna use a. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Five, back to the one, mm -hmm. four. All right, so again. Mm -hmm. So it's two rounds of that also. So this is what we have. All right. So you'll be you, you, you're playing that. All right. Hope you guys are following. Follow. All right. So the first part, you play two rounds of one, four, one, four. When it gets to the part where you start humming, where the singing starts, it's one, five, one, four. Okay? So, when it gets to the verse now, or the chorus, the chorus and the verse is the same. It is you. Oh, yeah. Very easy. You're going to continue playing that until the end of the song. Alright? Unless your band wants to change something. So that part is going to be a one, five, four, to a one. It is you. And that's basically it for that for the cards all right now if you want to do it like I do it I play my five my one here but if you are a beginner I would advise you not to do that don't use this one as it all right take your time use this position first all right so I play here so I farm this one with my middle finger on at the eight on the first string eight fret I put my pointer finger on the third string eight fret all right then the ring finger on the second string nine fret pinky finger on the fourth string tenth fret can be a bit confusing And for my four and my five, I just use this finger to bar them. That's what I use. But as you can see, I wrap my, you know, my fingers around the guitar neck. All right, so mine is a bit different. You know, back here. All right, so that's my way. Now, let's get to the car passing in the background <laughs> let's get to the um the strumming pattern let's get to the strumming pattern all right now it's cat all right and just like reggae the only difference is well they're much different uh you are going to do for this one it's going to be a long stroke up while you squeeze with this hand you know and please don't hit it like I just did. Don't follow me. That was a bad example. So, 
you know but you want to use the palm to mute also all right see when i come up i squeeze with this hand when i go down i squeeze and release then a, a quick pick up you know it's like playing reggae on the down but you're going up with this one same rule applies for this hand so all right soca and ska is on the up reggae is on the down all right so it's different all right so just do that And that's the strumming pattern for you. Not really hard. Let's get to the stock line. Now the stock line, the, you got to follow the bass. A stock line is a guitar line that follow, that, that accompanies the bass line. Now, what you're going to do, right? For this song, it's quite easy. You are going to be playing the arpeggios. All right? Arpeggios. Right? So when you play the... When he, when he gets to the arm... The one you want to play the arpeggio for that so the arpeggio is the one the three and the five so it's just like a major scale one two three four five you know so you want to pick out the one the three and the five okay all right so when you get to the um the four it's the same thing so remember the first two cards at the beginning of the song is a one four so when you get to the four it's a one you know so this is what i do first one here we go all right and for the four it's right here For the five, it's here. Same thing as a four, but you just want to put it up right here. Start with the middle finger. So the first part, part goes. Then it changes when it starts. It's time for him to sing. Mm -hmm, so, all right. So it's gonna be one. Then you go to the five. Then back to the one. To the four. So here we go. Then again. Then, okay, now when it gets to the verse, when it's uh, it is you, the verse and the chorus is, then, just have to work with the cards that you're playing. So again, now you can double up, and this is why it's important for you to alternate the picking, it's like this. So here, yeah. remember when you're doing the stock lines, you want to mute. I use my palm right here and I do not press too hard on the strings. Use the arm, the pick, as if you were going to cut the string. You know, so the pick is like this. You're not going to slant it a just a little bit, you know, so you're going to go up instead of go flat like that. So you want to go, it will slide on the strings much easier.
and that's basically it for the song yeah man and that is how you play toots and the meters pressure drop on electric guitar stock lines chord progressions strum patterns and all all right now if this tutorial was helpful put it down there in the comment section and let me know how you feel right if you have another request drop it down there there will also be a link to my facebook group in the description so check that out hit the link hit join when it takes you to the page and um you know and i'll accept for all those who want to know if i do private lessons yes i do i do one-on-one -on -one lessons i have many students there will be a link to my email so you know hit me up there if you want to know more let's talk do not forget to subscribe to the channel if you're just tuning in if you happen to bump in this channel it takes less than three seconds to hit the subscribe button down there hit the notification bell hit all so whenever i post a new video whatever i post you will be alerted my name is zion i'll see you next time with another tutorial blessed love peace out stay safe